Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. Today in this video we'll be looking at how to carefully use or where in our queries. You must be very careful before using or where in your query builder or MySQL statement. So first of all let us look what problem it might cause and then we'll see how to solve it. Okay let me show you my database first. So I have two users and each users have some articles and now I have shown here in this dashboard the list of uh, users and the number of articles they have and whenever I click on here it will just show me the articles of that user so if I go back and again click on the Danny and it will show all the articles of the Danny okay and I also have this sorts text and it will not do anything for now and the code here is so if you go here in the web so it is just a dashboard controller and in here it will just give all the users with the number of articles they have written for this dashboard view and whenever we click on here it is from this uh, user articles controller index and from here we'll just take the user from here and articles okay all the articles of that user and we'll pass it to the view and in the view we have this and this source and in the view if i show you here so this source is only this source okay and here I have just looped through the articles and just shown. So I have just done this chong and some fancy stuffs here just to show my articles in a fancy way. Like so if you see here, one has a longer length, one has a smaller length here. Yeah? So like this. So it is just a fancy way of showing the list of articles. Okay, now let me show you how or where may cause some error. So we'll add this functionality, okay, source functionality. Whenever we type something here and click enter, it will just look at here. The Here we'll get the sorts, yeah and if i remove this value from here like this and currently you can see that the value is here now if i remove it from here then the value will also be gone so for that i have written this so now if i again refresh the value will appear here now let's see in the controller in the users articles controller so we are just getting the articles okay now we have this thing here in the source now let us filter by that Search. So here now we can do here in case of the relationship. So this is articles relationship in the user model. We have articles relationship and let me show you that also here article. So it is has many relationship. If you see here in the database, we have users ID in the articles table. Now in order to apply the filter, we'll just say here when. So if you don't know about this when in the eloquent model, so it is just saying if. So instead of writing if and anything conditional logic inside this if there is a handy way of doing here in the eloquent and we can do it using this when statement okay so here we will just pass the condition so if we have source in the request so if you see here this source so if there is a source item it will give us that this value and if there is nothing it will be null so if anything is null it means that is a false value so it will not go inside here the second parameter will be function and here we will get query and the second parameter will be whatever we have passed from here okay so let's say search and now here let's say we want to search by that value then we'll say query where so this is just a query builder from these articles okay so now we have taken these articles from the users the query builder will refer to these articles so where let's say now i'll show you here i have this sort description and description and we want to search on both of these so where let's say sort sort description like we'll say here search so this is just string interpolation okay so we'll search inside this sort description column and we'll look if that sort text is inside this sort description so it can be wherever it can be in the middle or it can be on the first or it can be on the last then we have to get the articles now let's see in the browser and let's search for apple now you can see here there is only one results and also let me show you the user here okay so currently we are just clicking on the user and showing the articles of that user so in order to show what error may occur i also have to show the name of the user here okay so if i go here and i already have that code here so let me just uncomment this this is just articles which is written by this user now if i refresh here you can see here written by alexander and this is alexander's articles okay so everything is fine here now we also want to search by description so most of the people will do here like this 
or where description like and search so like this so they will search by either short description or by description so they have done the query and now they have let's say push the code in the production and bam there is something gone wrong so i'll show you what that is if i refresh here now now you can see here i am also getting the post from alexander and as well as by danny so boom there is an error so if i search apple so you can see here the apple is as well as here in the description as well as here so both of these articles have apple in them that's why it is searching so let me show you the query here now if we see the query here it is saying select all from articles where articles.user id is one which is the id this one and articles.user id is not null and short description is like this much or description is this so here is the issue it is satisfying all these conditions or this condition which means that both the articles have this apple in the description so it is getting both of them so now let's see how to solve this one and i know that there is n plus one query problem here in this query as well but we are not focusing on this one we are just focusing on the or where issue currently okay so now if we go here in the code we have to wrap these two if you see here these two are not grouped together so that's why the issue is appearing now we have to group this in a single where clause so how to do that so let's see here we will do here query where and now we'll call a function here the first parameter will be whatever query we are acting on this it will be query and let us add this inside this now now it is showing error because we have to use it like this okay now we have done this so i just want you to closely look at the query so you can see here the query is like this now mainly over here and now if i refresh the page here and now you can see here we are getting only one result yeah which is by alexander and now you can see here we are seeing this bracket over here this closing bracket and this opening bracket so now this or will just act on only these two parameters not on others so now in this way we can fix that or where issue so you can see here we are just wrapping these two in this where and it will just add those two opening and closing brackets in that query and our query will perform as it should so guys in this way you can fix your or where query issue and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye